outset, I offer my humble pranams at the feet of most revered Swami Satyadeva Anandaji Maharaj, Secretary of Ramakrishna Math and Ramakrishna Mission, Khar, Mumbai. I offer my humble pranams at the feet of all the revered monks of Ramakrishna ordered assembled here. And on behalf of Ramakrishna Math and Mission, Mumbai, I extend my heartiest greetings to all those who have assembled here to celebrate the most auspicious birthday of Swami Vivekananda as National Youth Day. Thank you so much for joining us in this August Assembly. We will begin today's celebration with Vedic chanting. So I request the monks of Ramakrishna order to please join us and begin the celebrations with Vedic chanting. Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om Sahana Bhavato Sahano Bhunakto Sahaviryam Karavavahe Tejasvi Navadhi Tamastumavit Vishavahe Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shanno Mitra Shamvarunaha Shanno Bhavatvaryama Shanna Indro Brihaspati Shanno Vishnu Rurukramaha Namo Brahmane Namaste Vayo Tameva Pratyaksham Brahmasi Tameva Pratyaksham Brahma Vadishami Ritam Vadishami Shatyam Vadishami Tanmam Avatu Tad Vaktaram Avatu Avatu Maam Avatu Vaktaram Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Bhadram Karne Vishnu Yama Deva Bhadram Pashe Maksha Bhirya Yatra Stirai Rangai Stushtu Vagam Sastanu Bhihi Veshe Madeva Hitayadayuhu Swastina Indra Riddha Shrava Swastina Pusha Vishwa Veda Swastina Starsho Arishta Nemihi Swastino Brihaspatir Dadhatu Om Shanti 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 Hari Hi Om Namo Brahmane Namo Astvagnaye Namo Prithivyaye Namo Oshadibhyaha Namo Vache Namo Vachaspataye Namo Vishnave Brihate Karomi Om Shanti 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 Hari Hi Om Yashanda Samrishabho Vishwarupaha Chandubhyo Dhyamrutat Sambhabhuva Samendra Medhaya Sprinotu Amritasya Devadharano Bhuyasam Shariram Me Vicharshanam Jivva Me Madhumattama Karna Abhyamuri Vishruvam Brahmana Koshoshi Medhaya Pihitaha Shrutam me gopaya Om Shanti 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 Hari Hi Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Hi Om Sri Ramakrishna Pranam Maharaj Jis. Now I request Swami Diviyesh Anand Ji Maharaj to chant Vivekananda Sotra. Anita Drisheshu Vivechanitam Tasmin Samadhat Ihasmalilaya विवेक वैराग्य विशुद्ध चेतम विवेक वैराग्य विशुद्ध 
चेतम यो सौ विवेकी तम What a wonderful upliftment of the soul, a spiritual atmosphere created by Vivekananda Sutram. Every year we celebrate Vivek Utsav and we have a PowerPoint presentation competition. This year the topic was nation building, ideas of Swami Vivekananda in present day context. And I'm pleased to inform you that this year, the winner was St. John High School, ICSE Borivali. We have their team with us, and the team will share their ideas of nation building, ideas of Swami Vivekananda in present day context. Good afternoon to one and all present here. I am Pehel Rajagor. These are my partners, Shreya Bhatt and Divim Goel. We nine graders are here to present a PowerPoint presentation on our greatest religious teacher, Swami Vivekananda. It's very well said by him that building a strong nation is through character development. When a single individual improves his or her character, they also contribute to the development of our nation. So, let me introduce you to Swami Vivekananda. Vivekananda, born as Narendranath Datta, was an Indian Hindu monk, philosopher, author, 
religious teacher and a chief disciple of Indian mystic Ramakrishna. He was born into an upper middle class family in Bengal and was educated at a Western style university where he was exposed to Western philosophy, Christianity and science. He played a key role in introducing Indian yoga and Vedanta philosophy to the West. Vivekananda was a very visionary person. His vision towards India was to have a new society inspired by the dignity of man, his freedom and individuality, and a strength and capacity to love and serve human beings. He envisioned a rejuvenated India that would lead the world to a better future. He believed in India's ability to guide and lead and said, Arise, awake and see her seated here on an eternal throne, rejuvenated, more glorious than she ever was, this motherland of ours. He also played a significant role in inspiring the youth of India for national service. He knew the importance of social service and character building in youth. He believed that India was a nation filled with energetic young people who would shape a modern nation based on the Vedic spiritual ideas. He also said that youth are the foundation of a country and their energy should be channeled in the right direction for progress. Swami Vivekananda believed that education is a very powerful tool in nation building. He believed that greatness of a nation could be measured through greatness of its citizen, personal growth, self-dependence, and moral and spiritual development fostered by education. He viewed education as a tool to promote good personality in every human being, which is essential in case of nation building. Vivekananda believed that spirituality is the backbone of nation building. He said that it is means of perceiving life beyond physical reality, life fostering compassion, and care for one another. He also believed that spirituality could guide and illuminate human life as a whole, contributing significantly to nation building. Swami Vivekananda emphasized the importance of self-reliance in nation building. He believed that qualities like strength, self-reliance, self-dependence, courage, determination, dynamism and patriotic fervor would improve one's personality and make them strong. He viewed education as a tool to promote self-reliance and universal brotherhood. According to him, these qualities were the prerequisites for freedom and nationalism. Vivekananda was a strong advocate for women's rights and their upliftment. He believed that women had the power to build a nation, shape the future, and they should be given proper education. He believed that women were the ones who could overcome hurdles with their inherent abilities and thereby earn the esteem of the society. He said that the Western idol of womanhood is a wife, while the Eastern idol is a mother. Swami Vivekananda believed that character building is the basis of nation building. He advocated for an education that instills self-esteem and optimism in everyone. He suggested that character building involves purity of mind, morality of conduct, and following the yama niyama taught by the religions. He believed that formation of a nation could be accomplished through person building, and the shape of the character could be achieved through education. Vivekananda, well, as a visionary person, he had a vision for the role of science and technology in nation building. He wanted the Indians to benefit from the Western science and technology for national development. He knew that capacity building was crucial for India's leadership in various views, like economic, political, and social. Yet, however, he urged the Indians to adopt these advancements without blindly imitating the Western lifestyle. Swami Vivekananda believed that social justice is a crucial aspect of nation building. He emphasized the importance of ending gender and caste discrimination. He advocated for spirituality and ethics to strengthen human character and capabilities contributing to the progress with justice. He believed that by nurturing physical, mental, emotional, social, and spiritual aspects of one's character, individual contribute the fabric of nation's character. Vivekananda saw cultural heritage as a key element in nation building. He knew that nation could be formed only through a unique message. Just like he believed that each and every mess each and every nation shall have its own unique message to deliver. For India, he saw this message in its rich cultural heritage. He believed that the revival of this heritage was crucial for India's resurgence. Yet, he thought of incorporating this cultural heritage into the education system. His vision of nationalism was deeply rooted in this cultural heritage. Swami Vivekananda emphasized the importance of leadership in nation building. He believed that 
formation of nation was not economics or politics, but education. He stressed the need of youth to lead a responsible and dutiful life. Swami Vivekananda emphasized the importance of unity and diversity in nation building. He believed that every nation should have a certain mission or a theme forming its basis of unity. He also advocated for unity amid its diversity rooted in the Advaita philosophy. He also emphasized the tall he also emphasized the importance of tolerant religions accepting each other contributing to unity and harmony. Alas, we see that Swami Vivekananda led an inspiring life completely devoted to the, towards public services and upliftment of India. Very well aided by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose that Swami Vivekananda was the maker of modern India. And in his honor, we celebrate his birthday, which is today as National Youth Day. Now, we would like to conclude our presentation with Vivekananda's golden words. My faith is that the younger generation, the modern generation, will work out the whole problem like lions. We acknowledge yours and audience's patience listening. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, team St. John High School, ICC Borivali. In a short, short span of 10 minutes, you have given us the ideas of nation building by Swami Vivekananda. So this was part of our Vivek Utsav celebration. I just would like to inform you that every year we celebrate Vivek Utsav, which includes elocution, recitation, reading, multi-talent uh, competition includes yogasanas, devotional songs, and drawing. There are team events such as quiz and the PowerPoint presentation you have just seen. For college students, every year we conduct essay writing competition. And for the first time this year, we have also introduced short filmmaking competition. And uh, by the way, uh, we are celebrating golden jubilee celebrations of Vivek Utsav. So it's a very uh, long history we have come. Now I request uh, revered Swami Satyadev Ananji and other dignitaries to grace the dais and come on stage. Uh, before we continue with uh, today's proceeding, one small request to all of you. Please keep your mobile in the silent mode or please switch it off. Thank you so much. Now I request revered Swami Satyadev Anandaji Maharaj to deliver his welcome address. Namasri Yati Rajayo, Vivekananda Surai, Satchit Sukhasari Upayo, Swami Neta Paharini. मैं आज का फंक्शन का चीफ गेस्ट श्री अभय बापात जी को वेलकम करता हूँ आज का फंक्शन में आज का एड्रेस श्री उदय सिंह है जिन्होंने इंटरनेशनल इंटरनल फाइनेंशियल एडवाइजर इन न्यूक्लियर रिसाइकल बोर्ड उनको भी वेलकम करता हूं आज के फंक्शन में फिर हम लोग को रामकृष्ण मिशन मिशन का मैनेजिंग कमेटी का जो मेंबर है मिस्टर राकेश पुरी उनको भी वेलकम करता हूं हम लोग को रामकृष्ण मिशन हॉस्पिटल के जो सुपरिंटेंडेंट है दयाधी पानंदो उनको भी वेलकम करता हूं और आज को फंक्शन के जो विशेष होती थी आप लोग जो है मेरे प्यारे भाई बहन आप सबको मैं हृदय से ये फंक्शन में आज का जो यूथ कन्वेंशन या यूथ यूथ डे इसमें आप लोग को सबको ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ रामकृष्ण मिशन मैं आपको स्वागत करता हूँ और हम लोग को ये आज का फंक्शन के लिए जितना सारे प्रोफेसर टीचर्स जो गार्जियन और हम लोग को वेल्यूशर्स हमारा फ्रेंड्स जो आए हैं आप लोग को भी सबको मैं वेलकम करता हूं अभी वेलकम तो हो गया मेरे को कुछ बोलना भी है तो इसके इसलिए इसलिए मैं आप लोग को विशेष करके मेरा प्यारे भाई बहन के लिए मैं मेरा आज ये मैं जो बोलने जा रहा हूं ओ हम लोग हमेशा सुनते हैं कोई कोई हम लोग प्रश्न भी करते हैं 
कि स्वामी विवेकानंद जी ने युवक को बोले थे कि देखो गीता पाठ अपेक्षा फुटबॉल खेलना अच्छा है और ये प्रश्न हम लोग को भी का पास भी आता है तुम लोग सुने होंगे इसके पहले भी ये जो स्वामी जी के मैसेज तो स्वामी जी ऐसे क्यों बोल रहे हैं कोई 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 बोलता है ये क्या बोला स्वामी जी गीता पढ़ना छोड़ दो और फुटबॉल खेलते चलो उसमें गीता गीता अच्छा समझ में आएगा स्वामी जी बोले थे तो ये अच्छा समझ में क्यों आएगा उसी के दो चार बात हम तुम लोग को बताएंगे क्योंकि देखो गीता तुम लोग शायद कोई पढ़े हैं क्या गीता कोई पढ़े हैं भाई अच्छा छोड़ दो तो गीता गीता जो है वह है हम लोग का धर्म ग्रंथ श्रेष्ठ धर्म ग्रंथ को कह सकते हो तो वही उसमें क्या है है जो अर्जुन को उपदेश दे रहे हैं भगवान श्री कृष्ण भगवान श्री कृष्ण अर्जुन को समझा रहे हैं उपदेश दे रहे हैं ये उसको सब्जेक्ट है वो गीता का क्यों कारण है जब कुरुक्षेत्र युद्ध जो हुआ था कौरव और पांडव का अंदर अब जानते हैं ना कौरव किसको कहते हैं कौरव पांडव जानते हैं ना और ये युद्ध कहाँ हुआ था जानते हैं कुरुक्षेत्र में हुआ था तो वो कुरुक्षेत्र में कौरव दोनों भाई थे दोनों भाई है एक धृतराष्ट्र का पुत्र है दूसरा पांडव का पुत्र है दोनों भाई ये दो भाई का पुत्र है सब पंच पांडव है दूसरे आदि है कौरव को है और पांडव का है धृतराष्ट्र सॉरी क्या क्या बोल युधिष्ठिर उसके बाद अर्जुन ये सब सब है पांच भाई तो ये लोग को युद्ध युद्ध करने के लिए वो कुरुक्षेत्र में एक एक के हुए थे और युद्ध किस लिए राज्य के लिए कौरव राज्य नहीं छोड़ेंगे दुर्योधन नहीं छोड़ेंगे और पांडव उसको लेके रहेंगे ये युद्ध वहाँ पर हुआ था तो युद्ध करने के पहले सारे भारत के जितना सारे योद्धा थे सब दोनों टीम में अपना अपना सापोर दे दिया तो जब रथ रथ अर्जुन को जो रथ था उसको सारथी थे ड्राइवर थे भगवान श्री कृष्ण भगवान श्री कृष्ण को अर्जुन कहते हैं उनको वो सखा थे फ्रेंड सखा तुम मेरे को सब सब सर्वप्रथम दोनों जो ये टीम खड़ा है युद्ध के लिए उसको बीच में लेकर मे के लेकर मेरे के एक एक रथ तुम खड़ा कर दो क्यों मैं सब कुछ दिखना चाहता हूँ फिर से मैं युद्ध करूँगा तो श्री कृष्ण वही क्या भगवान श्री कृष्ण ने रथ लेकर बीच में खड़ा कर दिया तो दोनों तरफ देखने के बाद अर्जुन कहते हैं भगवान को मैं युद्ध युद्ध नहीं करूँगा मैं युद्ध नहीं करूँगा अरे ये क्या कब कहे जाओ तुम बोले हाँ ये सब मैं जो देख रहा हूँ ये लोग से मैं कैसे युद्ध करूँ ये तो मेरा सब कोई पितामह है कि मेरे गुरुदेव है कोई कोई सब कोई ना कोई रिश्तेदार आया है युद्ध करने के लिए और ये यही लोग को मेरे को मरने होगा ये मरेंगे तो हम को ऐसा नहीं चाहिए राज्य तो राज्य हम नहीं चाहिए मेरे मैं भीख मांगे खाऊँगा लेकिन युद्ध नहीं करूँगा लेकिन भगवान जब बोलते बोलते तो अर्जुन क्या कहते हैं बोलते मैं सिद्धांति में मगत्ता नहीं मुखन चपे सुश्यते बेभुदुष्ट शोषणीय में रोम हुष्य सुजायती कहते हैं भगवान को कि देखो मेरा सिद्धांति मेरा गर्म मगत्ता नहीं वो कांप रहा है अर्जुन कांप रहा है अर्जुन कौन महाबीर उस जमाने के सबसे बड़ा बीत अर्जुन वही कहते हैं कि देखें मैं कांप रहा हूँ और फिर क्या मेरा मुख सूख रहा है मैं मैं मेरा गला गला सूख रहा है तो मेरे से नहीं होगा उसके हाथ से गंदी नीचे गिर गया मुझे मेरे से नहीं होगा युद्ध मैं युद्ध नहीं करूँगा तो सब भगवान श्री कृष्ण ने अर्जुन को क्या बोलते हैं अर्जुन की बातें सुनने के बाद भगवान श्री कृष्ण ने उनको कहते हैं क्रैपम मास में गो पार्थन नहीं तो तयु पद देते एक क्लीवत तय मतलब कायर था तुमको अंदर ये कह रहे कह रहे थे कहाँ से आया ये कापुरुष तुम कहते हैं युद्ध नहीं करूँगा अरे तुमको अंदर ये तुम महावीर हो 
और तुम कहते हो कि युद्ध नहीं करना होगा इसलिए बोलते इसको त्याग करो क्लिप बम मास मगाओ पर तुमको ये जो क्लिप जो कायर था इसको तुमको छोड़ने होगा छोड़ो और बोलते शुद्रम हृदय दौर्बलम तख्तो तिष्ठ परंतु तुम्हारा दुर् हृदय में जो तुम्हारा हृदय में जो दुर्बलता आई है डर आ गया आठ ये जो डर आया इसको क्या करो हरी उठो तुम महावीर अर्जुन हो और तुम ऐसा बात कर रहे हो तुमको शर्म नहीं देता ये अर्जुन को भगवान श्री कृष्ण ने ऐसा करके उनको ये करते हैं बोलते हैं तो वो अर्जुन बहुत सारे आर्गू करते हैं नहीं ये युद्ध करके क्या होगा युद्ध करने से तो कोई ना कोई पार्टी का बहुत सारे आदमी मर जाएगा तो इससे अच्छा है मैं भीख मांग के खाऊंगा ये सब बहुत सारे उनको आर्गू किया फिर भगवान कहते हैं नहीं तुमको युद्ध करना ही है अगर तुम युद्ध नहीं करोगे तो ये इससे इस बड़ा कलंकार कुछ नहीं होगा तुम जैसे वीर को अगर आप कह कोई कहे कहता है कि कापुरुष जो कायर जो डर से युद्ध छोड़ के भाग गया है तो इससे ये एक कायरपूर्ण ये जो तुम्हारा अर्जुन का स्वभाव नहीं देता है तो तुमको युद्ध करना ही होगा तो बोलते फिर कहते हैं भगवान जो देखो अगर मानो ठीक है तुम याद अगर युद्ध करके तो करते दो चीज़ हो सकती एक क्या मर जाओगे तुम और दूसरा क्या अगर जीतेगा तो तुम राज्य भोग करोगे तो मर जाएंगे अरे मरने से क्या हुआ जो युद्ध खतर में मरते हैं जो हम लोग जो सोल्जर्स है एक सब स्वर्ग प्राप्ति करते हैं वीर गति प्राप्त करते हैं तुम अमर हो जाओगे तो मरो क्या है युद्ध करते करते मरने से क्या है तो हम लोग कुछ जितने सारे सोल्जर है जो हमारे भारत में ये लोग जो मर रहा है कितने हर दिन हर रोज युद्ध करते थे ये मर जाता है तो क्या उसमें अमर हो जाते हैं कैसे उम्र हो सकता है देखो अगर हम लोग सबके नाम नहीं जानते हैं लेकिन फिर भी वो अपना अपने जो गांव में रहते हैं जहाँ से वो लोग आया था सोल्जर बने थे वो गांव लोग गांव का लोग तो उसको नहीं भूलेंगे कभी उसको रिश्तेदार कभी उसको नहीं भूलेंगे जितना जन्म जाने दो फिर भी कहेगा वो वो जो वो जो बन सहज बंसज है वहाँ उसमें एक युद्ध करने गया और वो वीर गति प्राप्त किया मर गया था ऐसे कहेंगे आदमी तो ये तो बहुत अच्छा बात है स्वर्ग चले जाएंगे तुम तो इसलिए भगवान कहते हैं जो नहीं तुम युद्ध करो अगर मर जाओगे तो तुम वीर गति प्राप्त होगा तुम्हारा और जो जीत जो जीत जाओगे तो तुम तुम्हारा अपना राज्य भोग करोगे तो तुम क्यों ऐसा करके भगवान उनको गीता में हम लोग पूरा गीता में आप जानते हैं ना अठारह अध्याय है गीता में ये अठारह अध्याय में भगवान श्री अर्जुन के समझा रहे थे कि तुमको युद्ध करना है और जो अर्जुन ने भी बहुत सारे प्रश्न किया था युद्ध नहीं करेंगे उसके लिए लेकिन आखिर तक भगवान का बात अर्जुन मान लिया और कहे ठीक है मेरा मेरा जो मोह आया था जो हमारा बुद्धि नष्ट हो गया था आपको बात सुनकर आपको उपदेश सुनकर अब मेरे को सब ठीक हो गया है मेरे आत्मविश्वास भी बढ़ गया है हम युद्ध करूँगा और उसके बाद हम लोग देखते हैं क्या अर्जुन युद्ध में जयलाभ करते हैं यही बात है आप लोग सब युवक है वो भगवान श्री स्वामी जी कहते हैं कि गीता पढ़ो पढ़ो पहले फुटबॉल पहले खेलो फुटबॉल मतलब क्या सिर्फ फुटबॉल में जितना सारे खेल है खेल कूद का जितना कुछ है स्पोर्ट्स ये सब अगर करेंगे तो हमारा अपना फिजिक अच्छा होगा हमारा दिमाग स्ट्रांग होगा तो अच्छा दिमाग अच्छा फिजिक जिसको है वही अर्जुन भगवान को जो उपदेश अर्जुन को दिए थे वो समझ पाएंगे और जो दुर्बल है जो कापुरुष है जो डरते हैं कायर भागता है डर से स्वामी जी कहते हैं डर गया तो मर गया तो जो डर डरेगा उससे नहीं होगा तो आप लोग भी यह याद रखना कि देखो आप लोग भी यही अभी पढ़ाई करते हो स्टूडेंट्स हो लेकिन कुछ दिन बाद सब पास करके आप लोग अपना अपना कर्म क्षेत्र में जाओगे तो अपना अपना कर्म क्षेत्र में तुम लोग देश से देश के लिए काम करोगे देश के लिए अलग से काम करने का जरूरत नहीं है आप लोग जो जहाँ पर जी जाएंगे और जहाँ जो कर्म करेंगे जो जहाँ पर भी नौकरी करेंगे वह अगर आपने ठीक ठीक करते हैं तो वही आपको देश सेवा है हम लोग सब ठीक ठीक कुछ नहीं करते हैं ना इसीलिए ऐसा हो गया फिर भी हम लोग को 
आजकल तो हम लोग देखते हैं जैसे इस भारत हम लोग इंडिया कितना आगे जा रहा है और हम लोग शायद अगले कुरी साल के बाद हम लोग नंबर एक या दो में चले आएंगे तो आप लोग अगर ठीक ठीक सब देश के लिए सब करेंगे तो जरूर आएंगे यही बात है श्री राम कृष्ण नमस्ते प्रणाम महाराज जी थैंक यू फॉर वंडरफुली एक्सप्लेनिंग द आइडियाज ऑफ गीता नो इट्स टाइम फॉर फेलिसिटेटिंग आवर गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर सो आई रिक्वेस्ट रिवियर्ड स्वामी सत्यदेव आनंद जी महाराज टू फेलिसिटेट आवर चीफ गेस्ट टुडे श्री अभय बापट जी I request Maharaj Ji to felicitate our guest of honor, Shri Uday Shinde Ji. Maharaj ji please felicitate shri rakesh puri <laughs> and finally swami dayadeep ananda ji maharaj superintendent ramakrishna mission hospital mumbai now i request swami dayadi pananda ji maharaj to felicitate our revered swami satyadev anand ji maharaj now i request swami satyadev anand ji maharaj to felicitate our team from st john high school icsc borivali for power, on powerpoint presentation uh, divya divyam goel pahel rajagor and shreya bhat please join us on the stage स्वामी दयादीप आनंद जी महाराज सुपरिंटेंडेंट रामकृष्ण मिशन हॉस्पिटल मुंबई टू डिलीवरी एट द आउटसेट आई ऑफर मई भक्तिपूर्वक प्रणाम्स टू भगवान श्री रामकृष्ण माँ शारदा देवी स्वामी विवेकानंद esteemed guest on the dais respected revered swami ji swami satyadevanand ji maharaj all the monks of the ashram here and the beautiful team who has been working for the last two months to conduct various competitions bringing various children's students from various schools and finally arriving on this auspicious day on this auspicious moment where we have all gathered to reemphasize relearn the great ideas of that monk who shook the world on 11 september 1893 
एट शिकागो मैं समझता हूँ यहाँ पे सभी विद्यार्थी विद्यार्थियाँ अलग अलग स्कूल कॉलेज से आए हैं जहाँ हॉल में बैठे हैं इससे ज़्यादा बाहर में स्क्रीन भी लगाया है वहाँ पे बैठे हैं दे हैव ऑल गैदर्ड हियर विद फ्रेंड्स एंड रिलेटिव टू शेयर दिस वंडरफुल मोमेंट्स इट्स अ रियल फेस्टिवल हम लोग उत्सव मनाते हैं पर्व मनाते हैं उसका अलग अलग रीज़न रहता है है ना ग्रह प्रवेश इत्यादि सो so, वहाँ जो केंद्र बिंदु है अलग अलग रहता है यहाँ पे एक ही केंद्र बिंदु है वो है ए ग्रेट पर्सनालिटी 1984, the time where our leaders were looking for an icon who can be a role model for our youth. So many names were brought in, and finally, Swami Vivekananda's name was accepted and approved by government of India. So, 1984 से लेके अब तक, है ना? This is the 40th National Youth Day that we're all celebrating. तो ऐसा क्या था स्वामी विवेकानंद जी में जो सभी लोग एक गुट से राजी हो गए कि हमको स्वामी विवेकानंद जी नेशनल आइकॉन होना चाहिए दैट टू यूथ के लिए हम तो जानते हैं युवा जो है द यूथ ऑफ टुडे इज द वन हु इज गोइंग टू लीड द नेशन टुमारो आज के युवा ही कल के नेता हैं जो देश को एक दिशा देंगे तो ये युवा के लिए एक ऐसा व्यक्तित्व चाहिए जो सही दिशा दे अगेन सही दिशा बोलने से एक 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 गोल है अगर किसी को क्रिकेटर बनना है तो उसका एक दिशा देने वाला एक रोल मॉडल हो सकता है लेकिन ये ऐसा दिशा देने वाला यूनिवर्सल पर्सनैलिटी होना चाहिए जो सभी को जो भी बनना चाहता है वो उसमें मिले तो स्वामी विवेकानंद जी वो पर्सनालिटी है जिनका जीवनी में पढ़ेंगे बार बार पढ़ेंगे सोचेंगे समझेंगे देन यू इम्बाइव द स्पिरिट अभी जो स्वामी जी बोल रहे थे यू हैव टू प्ले फुटबॉल व्हेन यू आर एंग रैदर देन जस्ट रीडिंग गीता है ना नई नन छिंदंत्य शस्त्राणी नई नंद हति पावक हे अर्जुन तुम वो अविनाशी आत्मा है जिसको शस्त्र काट नहीं सकता है हवा जिसको सुखा नहीं सकता है पानी जिसको गीला नहीं कर सकता है तुम हो वो अविनाशी ये तो हाईएस्ट फिलॉसफी हो गया स्टूडेंट तो बोलता है मेरे को तो बहुत तो समझने का समय आया नहीं और समझ भी नहीं आता है अभी तो मेरे को वो चीज़ चाहिए जिससे मैं चीज़ों को समझ सकता हूँ वो बताओ तो स्वामी विवेकानंद आके बोलते फुटबॉल खेलो जैसे स्वामी ने ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन किया Make your physics strong. Where there is a physics strong, strong physics, there comes a great mind. जहाँ physics strong हो, जहाँ great mind हो, वहाँ great ideas manifest होते हैं. वो युवा जिसके जरिए great ideas, excellent ideas manifest होते हैं, उस युवा को हर एक अपना हीरो मान सकता है हीरोइन मान सकता है जिसको फॉलो करता है जिसको आइकॉन बनाना चाहता है सो इफ यू वांट टू बिकम अ रोल मॉडल यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड स्वामी विवेकानंद तो ग्रेट फिजिक इसका मतलब क्या है है ना तो आजकल हम देखते हैं अस्पताल में एंग बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स कमिंग टू ओपीडी विथ लो बैक एक माइग्रेन सर्दी खांसी अदर हेल्थ रिलेटेड इनडाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम्स एंड ऑल वेन वी वर ऑल स्टूडेंट्स वी नेवर हैड ऑल दिस इश्यूज सो दिस लाइफ स्टाइल डिसीज आर इंक्रीज ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज देखिए कितना बड़ा मंत्र दिया है अगर आपका स्वास्थ्य अच्छा रहना तो आपको फिजिकल एक्टिविटी करना जरूरी है योगा आजकल वी ऑल नो Yoga has become very popular. It was Swami Vivekananda who introduced Vega yoga to the West and who made yoga popular in the West. And what was that unique contribution which Swamiji had to give? It is not just the physical yoga, yoga asana. There is something higher. 
the Vedantic ideas, which I'll talk towards end of my talk in the last one or two minutes. I'll touch upon it. So coming to the point, basics. Harek student ko yaad rakna if you want to become a great person. What are those basics? Yama niyama. Wonderful presentation was done. What is that yama niyama? What to do, what not to do. This much we have to remember and follow. Ahimsa, Satya, Asteya, Brahmacharya, Parigra. Five rules under yama. Ahimsa. Do not injure others. Do not injure yourself. Physically, mentally, intellectually. Wrong thinking. Wrong doings and injuring your own body and mind. Don't do that. And also, do not do it to others. Ahimsa, everybody should follow. Satya, always truth the, speak the truth. Jhut nahi bolna hai. If you want to be happy, if you want peace of mind, you should always speak truth. Satya Harishchandra ka kahani hum logo ne suna hai. So, Satya meva jayate. Ahimsa, Satya. Asteya, do not steal things. Do not even look at the things which don't belong to you. Asteya, brahmacharya, self-control. As a student, we should have control on our senses. Jis chiz ko nahi dekhna hai, usko nahi dekhna, usse dur rahena hai. Aparigraha, do not hanker after things. Do not look for gifts from others. Be happy with what God has given to you. These are the five rules everybody should follow under Yama. Niyama. Shaucha, Santosha, Tapas, Swadhyaya, Ishwara, Pranidhanani. Shaucha, cleanliness. Pure body and mind. Cleanliness inside, outside. Santosha, self-contentment. 99 marks are gaya, like in 100 nanyaya, dukh. You can do again better, not a problem. So learn where was that mistake, kaha ek mark gaya, uske barenge sochenge, na ki hum dukh karenge ki ek mark kam maage. Be happy what, what you have achieved and try best. Ho gaya? Shaucha santosha, self-contentment. Tapas, we should have some austerity. Thoda sardi hai, thoda garmi hai, thoda sahelo. Austerity. Swadhyaya, read your own mind. Go and see deep inside you, there is something great. Swadhyaya, Ishwara Pranidhanani. Surrender to highest energy, God. Ishwar, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, whatever the God you believe in. Do everything, put all your efforts to achieve and finally surrender to that power. जब हम माता पिता को झुकते हैं, बड़ों को झुकते हैं, उनके सामने साधु सन्यासियों को प्रणाम करते हैं, तो आपको आशीर्वाद मिलता है। To achieve great things, you need blessings of the Lord, blessings of the elders. These ten commandments, ten rules, if we can understand, practice in our day-to-day life, yama niyama, we will become great. Then asana pranayama. As I told, it's just not the physical exercise. There is something more when you say yoga asana. It helps to train your body. It helps to train your mind by connecting your body, mind to the soul. So-called the Western world, so-called the developed countries, they don't believe in God. They don't believe in Atman. They don't believe in soul. Still, they have progressed so much, just believing in the material welfare, which is called as Abhideya. Shankaracharya writes in the Introduction to Bhagavad Gita. What Bhagavad Gita has taught, has ought to taught, uh, teach us. So, Abhideya Nishreyasaha. Bhagavad Gita teaches us how to attain the highest material welfare. Along with that, it also teaches us Nishreyasaha. Atma Shanti, Ananda, Atmananda, Brahmananda. Ananda is the Shabda. Sukh, Dukh. Aapko bahut bhook laga hai. आपने खाना खाया, भूख मिट गया, अभी खाना देने से आप बोलेंगे नहीं चाहिए। The food which gave you happiness will not offer more happiness after some time. That is सुख दुख। सुख दुख के पर एक अवस्था है आनंद, bliss, आत्मानंद, ब्रह्मानंद। ये समझने का बात है, है ना? So there is something higher joy which we have to see within। उसके लिए हमको तैयारी करना है आसना योगा आसना इस समथिंग 
more than the physical exercise we do because it makes your body mind strong at the same time it connects to the highest atmananda the real self asana pranayama should learn how to breathe well simple techniques brahmri one small pranayama you all can try and do you are all students no padhai karte karte kabhi kabhi dimag bahut ha thak jata hai you do this small pranayama you will get refresh all can try with me now close your eyes close your ears take a deep breath when you breathe out say humming sound mm this is a wonderful pranayama we teach all the students it will increase your concentration power it will increase the blood supply to the neurons of the brain it will increase the oxygen supply to the neurons of the brain increased oxygen supply increased blood supply will make you more concentrated kam samay mein zyada pad ke yaad kar sakte hain aapka ekagrata badhaye badhayega asana pranayama this is the fourth step fifth step pratyahara be away from all the things that distract you dharana constantly think on the positive things dhyana samadhi dhyana be- becoming one with the object on which i am meditating mere ko mathematics padhna hai uske sath ek jhut thuk jao ki sab bhul jao there is joy in attaining in, in becoming one with the subject i study then dhyana when you learn to do proper dhyana your concentration increases so those both are complementary to each other concentration jiska acha hai uska meditation acha hota hai jisne acche meditation kiya hai uska concentration acha rehta hai dhyana samadhi the highest step samadhi god realization self realization so this eight ashtanga marga those were taught by maharshi patanjali all these things was revived by swami vivekananda because he had that modern outlook at the same time established in our ancient wisdom so swami vivekananda was the blend of east and west as i mentioned what the west has to offer for us how to attain the material welfare and what the east has to offer how to attain the happiness which is already within us abhidaya nishray the swami vivekananda was the blend of both abhidaya and nishray by considering all these things he was selected as icon youth icon so now coming and focusing some of the messages that we ought to practice har ek vidyarthi jeevan bhar abhi to vidyarthi hain aap fir kal ko ek responsible citizen banenge so abhi brahmacharya avastha then grahastha ashram then sanyas ashram aise bataya gaya hai shastra mein so we're all now students we are all learning learn karne ke baad kuch aapko job responsibility milega then you have got a choice either to become a monk or to become a householder wahan bhi aapko acha rehna hai yahan bhi aapko rehna hai uske liye sara cheez sikhaya gaya hai so few of the things what swamiji has focused stressed on education let us revise those things i know you have all participated you have read and uh, you have also reproduced well no those ideas has to go deep within first hota hai shravana pehle hum log sunte hain uske baad uske baad sochte hain manana then nididhyasana then it becomes your own idea for that it's continuous learning continuous listening continuously meditating thinking on that until you become one with that so swamiji says what is education education is the manifestation of the perfection already in man we have something perfect what is that perfect we have to go deep in atman brahman which i got told in the beginning that is our real nature so we want that education which can guide us take us there and swamiji bolte hain we want that education by which character is formed strength of the mind is increased the intellect is expanded and by which one can stand on one's own leg ye ek definition ko jeevan bhar har kshan 
अगर आप याद करके इसको सोचने लगेंगे इट विल हेल्प यू इन एवरी स्टेप ऑफ योर लाइफ जो भी हम देखते हैं बहुत इंटेलिजेंट था लेकिन उसके साथ ऐसा घटना हो गया ही हैड टू गिव अप दैट पोजिशन यू विल गो एंड स्टडी बिकॉज दैट मैन और वुमन दे वर नॉट एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन कैरेक्टर चारित्र निर्माण उनका नहीं हुआ था सिर्फ कुछ एकेडमिक से वहाँ पहुँच गए थे लेकिन उससे नीचे आना पड़ा क्योंकि वो कैरेक्टर में एस्टैब्लिश नहीं थे सो so, ऐसा एजुकेशन चाहिए एज ए स्टूडेंट जिसमें हमारा चारित्र बने वो चारित्र बनाने के लिए हमने बताया यम नियम टेन रूल्स वी हैव टू फॉलो स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द माइंड शुड बी इंक्रीज इंटेलेक्ट शुड एक्सपैंडेड फर्स्ट ईयर एम बी बी एस टॉपर मेरे बैचमेट वेन आई स्टडिंग सेकेंड ईयर एग्जाम का फियर से ही कमिटेड सुइसाइड बिकॉज हिज माइंड वॉज वीक ही नेवर गॉट द एजुकेशन विच मेड हिज माइंड स्ट्रांग सो वी वॉन्ट दैट एजुकेशन विच विल मेक अवर माइंड स्ट्रांग माइंड स्ट्रांग मतलब क्या है वी शुड बी एबल टू एक्सेप्ट द सिचुएशन एज इट कम्स है ना जीवन में हर एक टाइम जैसे हम सोचते हैं ऐसे ही नहीं होता है कुछ चीज़ों को हमको एक्सेप्ट करना पड़ता है और एक्सेप्ट करने के लिए स्ट्रांग माइंड चाहिए वट इज माइंड माइंड इज नथिंग बट बंडल ऑफ थाट्स जो आपके मन में जो रोज सोच आप डाल रहे हैं उसका बंडल ग्रुप मिलके एक मन बनता है जितना आपका मन शक्तिशाली है उतना आप शक्तिशाली हैं तो एवरी डे यू हैव टू फिल योर माइंड विद डिवाइन थॉट्स एवरी डे यू हैव टू फिल योर माइंड विद ग्रेट आइडियाज एंड आइडियल्स इंटेलेक्ट एक्सपेंड करने के लिए अगर लॉर्ड ऑफ बुक्स जो बुक्स में आपका इंटरेस्ट है उसको स्टडी करेंगे आपका इंटेलेक्ट बढ़ेगा ही देन यू शुड लर्न हाउ टू स्टैंड ऑन योर ओन लेग्स पढ़ाई के बाद मैं अपना स्वयं खड़ा होकर दिखाऊंगा दुनिया के लिए हाउ कैन यू डू दैट एटीट्यूड ऑफ सर्विस ऑन विच होल रामकृष्ण मिशन इज स्टैंडिंग टूडे इफ होल वर्ल्ड इज लुकिंग एट रामकृष्ण मिशन फॉर स्पिरिचुअलिटी दैट इज फॉर द यूनिक कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ स्वामी विवेकानंद प्रैक्टिकल वेदांता आत्मनो मोक्षार्थम जगत हिताय च अपना मोक्ष के लिए यानी सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन गॉड रियलाइजेशन आप एक आत्मन है ब्रह्मन है उसको एहसास करना है जीवन का उद्देश्य होना चाहिए रिलीजन इज द मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ डिविनिटी ये सब हम जो बात करते हैं तो प्रैक्टिकल वेदांता जो वेदांत की बातें हैं उसको हमने को अपना जीवन में उतारना है सो रामकृष्ण मिशन फाउंडेड बाई स्वामी विवेकानंद वर्क्स बाय मैनिफेस्टिंग द प्रैक्टिकल वेदांतिक आइडियाज मेनली इन द फील्ड ऑफ हेल्थ एंड एजुकेशन यहाँ पे हमारे एक चैरिटेबल हॉस्पिटल में बगल में ही आप लोग देखा होगा वी हैव गॉट द बेस्ट डॉक्टर्स हु हैव अ माइंड टू डू चैरिटी सेल्फलेस सर्विस आत्मनो मोक्षार्थम जगद हिताय च यू कैन अटेन यूर मोक्ष सेल्वेशन गॉड रिलेशन हाइएस्ट ब्लिस शांति सब मिलेगा जब आप दूसरों का सेवा करेंगे निस्वार्थ भाव से सेवा करेंगे विदाउट एक्सपेक्टिंग एनी थिंग इन रिटर्न दिस इज द हाइएस्ट शास्त्र का निचोड़ अगर हम बोले तो स्वामी विवेकानंद जी उसको इस संघ में दिया है अपने गुरुदेव के नाम में श्री रामकृष्ण मट्टन मिशन जो आप देखते हैं उस आइडियाज जो है एवर फ्लोइंग एवरी डे फ्लोइंग इन एक्शन सो so, एक एक तीर्थ क्षेत्र है यहाँ पे उधर मंदिर में सेवा साधना भजन इधर अस्पताल है लाइब्रेरी है बुक स्टॉल है ज्ञान यज्ञ है सेवा औषधि के जरिए है सो so, एक कंटिन्यूस यहाँ जो दोनों सेवा हो रहा है एक तीर्थ स्थल है सो so, जो भी विद्यार्थी यहाँ आते हैं दे विल बिकम ग्रेट बाई टेकिंग द बात इन दिन दिस तीर्थ क्षेत्र गंगा जी में हम स्नान करने जाते हैं डुबकी लगाने जाते हैं हम उसमें मानते हैं कि वहाँ डुबकी लगाने से हम पवित्र हो जाते हैं सो सिमिलरली आई फील वी आर ऑल ब्लेसेड वी हैव प्योरीफाइड आवर सेल्स बाय रीडिंग स्वामी विवेकानंद बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन वेरियस कॉम्पिटिशन सो इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल अकेशन टू सेलिब्रेट टूगेदर लर्न मोर इम्बाइब द स्पिरिट ऑफ स्वामी विवेकानंद रिमेंबरिंग द आइडियल्स प्रैक्टिसिंग एवरी 
it can make you and everybody great man making nation building that was the main focus of swami vivekananda to ab sab aise vidyarthi bane aur aise vidyarthi aise citizen se great nation jo hum sab log soch rahe hain aajkal hum sab jagah dekh rahe hain wo sab hum usme kabil ho payenge with this brief messages once again i really appreciate the team work uh, of the whole team who is conducting this and i offer my sashtang pranams to reverend maharaj for allowing me to speak on this occasion with best wishes and namaskars to all thank you pranam maharaj ji in a very short time very beautifully you explained patanjali's ashtang yog and you focused on why character development is more important thank you so much maharaj ji we have on the dais with us shri rakesh puri ji rakesh puri ji is an advocate counsel and corporate lawyer operating from mumbai he has over 25 years of experience and he has successfully led in house legal teams in complex joint ventures overseas setups fdi odi investments financing arrangements and providing litigation strategy as well as legal advice and counsel rakesh ji specializes in banking and finance capital markets and securities laws company law rbi fema nbfc arbitration and contracts he is well versed with overseas subsidiaries foreign direct investments and exchange control regulations he is quite familiar with regulatory environment in singapore hong kong dubai and london rakesh ji is a senior company secretary from icsi graduate in law and is also chartered accountant from usa he is also member of all india management association and he is also managing committee member of ramakrishna mission i invite sri rakesh puri ji to deliver his most revered uh, swami satyadevananda ji maharaj the chief guest of the evening shri abhay bapad ji another guest of the evening shri uday shinde ji and our own swami daya deepananda ji maharaj respected monks on the other side parents teachers and my dear young friends or rather i will say boys and girls swami ji was selected as icon after 92 years of his prominence in parliament of religion 11th september 1893 when he spoke sisters and brothers of america 5000 people stood up clapped for 2 to 3 minutes if ordinary person does this it does not happen it happened because he had the real feeling for unity of the world and he could see the common atman everywhere and that is why with these three words he got such a rousing applause and became a hero in one day but lot of work had proceeded as all of you know he was born on 12th january 1863 a blessed day for the whole world met his guru shri ramakrishna in november 1881 straight away asked him a question have you seen god ramakrishna said yes i have seen god for the first time he got a response which convinced him to some extent still because he was ba of that time and brilliant brilliant mind he still 
kept on testing Sri Ramakrishna, and Ramakrishna could satisfy him. He gave him the aspects of samadhi, uh, you know, science, spirituality, service, uh, all these things. He asked him. And sometimes Ramakrishna also tested him. Earlier, when he will come, he will off offer him sweets and all that as a special case. And Swami Vivekananda will feel embarrassed. Why he is doing it to me? But there was a reason for it. Ramakrishna knew that he is one of the seven sages whom Ramakrishna as a child has brought to the earth for the good of the world. Swami Vivekananda did not know that, but Ramakrishna knew it. So, some, may, may, he was a frequent visitor to Sri Ramakrishna, and once Ramakrishna did not speak to him for weeks together. And still, Swami Vivekananda is coming, as usual, listening to his holy words. And then Ramakrishna asked him, I am not talking to you, why you are coming? He says, I don't come for your talk only. I love you. There, Sri Ramakrishna understood that now he is fit to be given the highest knowledge. And whatever uh, Bhagwan Sri Ramakrishna wanted to do for the good of the world, he chose Vivekananda as his uh, sp spokesperson or as his front. In 1886, Sri Ramakrishna passed away, but he wrote, he, uh, Sri Ramakrishna was not that literate as you and me are, but he could still write. In Bengali, he wrote, Narain will teach the world. And that slip went to Swami Vivekananda. And Swami Vivekananda said, no, 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 I don't have the power. Sri Ramakrishna said, you will teach the world. And it is coming true. After the demise of Sri Ramakrishna, along with other brother monks, Swami Vivekananda did total round of the all Indian states to understand the realities. For three years, he was traveling alone, sometimes living with the Maharajas, sometimes living under banyan tree, sometimes living with the uh, poor people to understand the pulse. Eventually, he went to Kanyakumari, and there he meditated for a few days to see that our future is comfortable. He did it for us for a prosperous India, for a strong India. He did that and he says, I have found the solution. And in the meanwhile, uh, he had heard that there was a parliament of religion to be held at Chicago. He was in two minds. Some devotees, admirers, they were pushing him. You should go, you are the best representative because his personality was magnetic. Look at his photos. Just 30 seconds, if you look at that, you get energy. And we have 106 photographs in a special book, Photographs of Swami Vivekananda, which are uh, you know, captured by California Vedanta Society uh, for uh, Swami Vivekananda and the places associated with him. And their description is there. Such personality. Where you, would you find this? So after great hesitation, you know, he went to uh, Chicago and there on the first, a lot of difficulties he faced. First of all, he didn't have money and he was told that the parliament of religion will start after two months. And living in New York was very difficult. So somehow he went to Boston. And then there he came to know that you need a recommendation letter from any institution. He being a monk didn't have that. But the divine help came. There he met Professor John Wright. 
and told him that he wants to participate in parliament of religion. And just see what that person said. He says, Swamiji, to ask you for introduction will be asking the sun its right to shine. You are more learned than all of, pro all of the professors put together here. This is the kind of, uh, you know, greatness which John Wright could find. And he wrote, he is more learned than all the professor put together. And, and it went to the chairman of the uh, Chicago committee. After he had become famous, he gave four or five talks in parliament of religion. And life was not usual. Once you become a hero, you know, uh, New York Times, others, everyone is praising you. They expect very high uh, delivery of talks as well as your conduct also. You are under scrutiny. He could pass all those tests. But he was still feeling for all of us that my country is so miserable. Here, there are so many comforts. I want all those comforts to reach India. So he wanted secular upliftment of India and eternal peace for the Western world. And that is why he was a bridge between the East and the West. And what a wonderful message he gave uh, uh, to us when he came back in 1897. Uh, he, he, from Colombo to Almora, there are so many lectures of him. I will not go into that. But he says, uh, he said that the very purpose of his going abroad was for the improvement of his fellow beings. Because he had seen during these, those three years of wandering how people are deprived of their basic education basic food, basic dignity. He said that the degradation of India is because of two reasons, neglect of the masses and neglect of the women. And he did try in his uh, uh, talks to improve both of them. Today's women and today's conditions which we are seeing is the result of the efforts of Swami Vivekananda. And then, as you know, he could not see 40. He had said that I will never be able to see 40. Within 39 years, five months, he has left the impression that we is still going on. And he had said, I will quote it, it may be that I shall find it good to get outside my body, to cast it off like a worn out garment, but I shall not cease to work. I shall inspire men and women everywhere until the whole world shall know that it is one with God. Just see. Today's Ramakrishna Math and Ramakrishna Mission is the manifestation of Swami Vivekananda. We can, he is working through Ramakrishna Math and Ramakrishna Mission and many institutions which are inspired by his uh, lectures his personality and the kind of he said I know that it is uh, difficult to form the organization it has its own difficulty but no long-term good can be done to the society unless the organization is made that is why uh, this Ramakrishna Math and mission uh, has been formed <coughs> Some of his, uh, huh, he wanted, I must see my machine is strong working order. And then knowing sure that I have put in liver for a good of humanity in India at least, which no power can die back, I will sleep without caring what will be next. And I may be born again and again and suffer thousands of miseries so that I may worship the only God that exists, the only God I believe in, the sum total of all souls. My God, the wicked, miserable, poor, 
Th that is what he said. That is why Ramakrishna Math and Mission is carrying out educational work, medical work, rural development work, and publication work. Just for your information, uh, though uh, all these Swamiji's, they are very shy in glorifying their work, but let me tell you the number of centers 327, 229 in India, 98 outside India. And in Indian centers for 2022-23, 11 crore 72,172 11, 1, crores has been spent on these service aspects. Atmanu Mokshatam Jagar Sitaecha, which uh, Swamiji said, that is their main purpose, and that is the main purpose of all devotees also. But the byproduct of that, that is service to others, that is giving a very tangible result. 300 centers all over the world, and 1,200 bhav prachar parishas, which directly or indirectly work with the guidance of the monks or with headquarters. So Swamiji is saying that I will never cease to work is being accomplished through Ramakrishna Math and Mission. And secondly, in 1900, he had said that I will never see 40. And he had also said that this place will give light to the world. This place means Balurmat will give light to the world for 1,500 years. Don't think I am imagining it. I am seeing it. That is the kind of power Swami Vivekananda had. And that is why Ramakrishna Math and Mission, uh, through various monks, devotees, admirers, they are spreading his message and life for the good of the world and for the good of India. And he had special faith uh, in the, uh, uh, what you call, uh, youth. Uh, I will just, uh, my faith is in the younger generation, the modern generation, out of them will come my workers, right? Uh, uh, in the PowerPoint also it has been taken. I want to give you two instances of where he has guided uh, India in a big way. In 1893, he was traveling to USA, Jamshed Ji T. Tata. Jamshed T, J-A-M-S-H-E-T. He was also traveling with him. He asked him, first of all, see the humility of Jamshed Ji. He was 54 years old and a young monk of just 29 years. He was there. But Jamshed Ji had the humility to come to him and say him hi. In the conversation, it transpired that he was going for bringing the technology, for making the matchboxes, and for testing the soil of the uh, earth. Swamiji told him, why don't you do your own research? Why don't you set up your own research center? Do you think these Western countries will give, give you a true picture? This inspires Jamshed Ji to put up Indian Institute of Science at Bangalore. And in 1898, he offered that you are the best person to lead it. At, in 1893, as a co-passenger, Swamiji was unknown, but he could relate it. Just see, this is how the great people can discover the greatness in others. And I must salute both Swami Vivekananda as well as Jamshechi for recognizing each other's strength. In 1898 also, Swami Vivekananda, through Prabhuda Bharata, wrote an article admiring the Tata group for industrialization and for doing a great work. Second instance I want to give about uh, John Rock D. Feller. He was, he was very rich person, and Swamiji had become very prominent you know, 
everybody wanted him to be his guest. And somehow, he came to him. Swamiji did not look, but uh, look at him, but told him all his past and present and future. Because he was having tremendous wealth, but still not having peace of mind, which Swamiji, our Deepananda Ji Maharaj spoke about. He said, so after hearing all this, he said, oh, he knows everything. Even only one person knows these secret things, and he has spelt out everything. After one week, he came and told him that he has st started an uh, organization, uh, foundation, Ro Rockefeller Foundation. And he said to Swamiji, now you must thank me. Swamiji said, no, you should thank me, because I have given you a solution for your terrible pain which is uh, going on. It is a matter of coincidence that in 1965, this Rockefeller's uh, uh, foundation saved the whole world from the feminine. Akal pardyana, yasara an nahi hona. Just see the vision. Wherever Swamiji has touched anything, it has brought glory and saving to the masses. And uh, Maharaj has already touched the football thing. I don't want to repeat it. But football here means it can be gym, it can be badminton, it can be anything which you like. It can be walk, it can be marathon. And young people, they need it. We also need it. But unless we put uh, this habit as a youth, we won't be able to adopt it all of a sudden when we are in 40s or 50s. Now, let me tell you another instance. Uh, with that, I will finish. The great marathon which uh, is happening in Mumbai for last so many years. You know the tagline of it? Anybody in the audience? Its tagline is believer, finisher, be better. Believer, finisher, be better. And it has been adopted from Swami Vivekananda's message. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Rakesh Ji. In a short time, you have beautifully done exposition of the life of Swami Vivekananda, sharing some beautiful incidents from his life. Thank you very much. We have with us today Ms. Krisha Gupta. She is a student from D.Y. Patil University, and she will be delivering her speech. Namaskaram. Conquer yourself and the whole universe is yours. This quote by Swami Vivekananda encapsulates his philosophy emphasizing self-confidence, the power of belief, and the importance of action, thus making him an ideal role model for the youth, for people like you and me, the dreamers, the thinkers, the believers, the action takers, the future of our civilization. Swami Vivekananda is regarded as one of the greatest influential spiritual philosophers, educationists, and thinkers of India. With Ramakrishna Paramhans as his spiritual guru, he is considered as an icon for his fearlessness and courage. By the lectures and speeches of Swami Vivekanand, the young generation was inspired to ideas of social service and character building. A timeless tale of this is his groundbreaking speech to the 1893 World's Parliament of Religions in Chicago, in which he introduced Hinduism, Vedanta, and Yoga to America and called for religious tolerance. Now, the reason that this speech is talked about ever so often is simply because of its unceasing relevance and rejuvenating inspiration. From the moment he addressed a crowd full of strangers as sisters and brothers of America, he found a special place in the hearts of his audience, who had never before experienced the Indian value of Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam, meaning the world is a family. Throughout his exceptional speech, he takes pride in coming from a nation as loving and accepting as India a nation that is rooted in tradition but flows with the times, a nation that we are proud to call our motherland. This was especially crucial at a time in British India 
where the youth had been increasingly influenced by Western ideals, whilst renouncing their own. This speech induced in our youth a patriotic passion, a fervor that later culminated in earning our independence from the British. Not just then, even in today's turbulent, unpredictable, and fast-paced times, his invaluable teachings and pearls of wisdom continue to inspire genuine faith and love in the youth that is increasingly drawn to everything artificial, including intelligence itself. Every single issue that currently haunts our youth can be answered by Swami Vivekananda in his teachings, beliefs, philosophy, and his own life. When it comes to dealing with adversities, for example, it is something that most of us experience quite often, be it in our personal or professional lives. In times like these, we take refuge in knowing that even Swami Vivekananda's life was marked by numerous challenges, and he emerged triumphant through resilience and determination. His journey serves as a source of inspiration for young individuals facing obstacles, urging them to persevere and overcome challenges. How about our monumental ambitions and drive to attain success? Swamiji says, take up one idea. Make that idea your life. Dream of it. Think of it. Live on that idea. Let the brain, the body, the muscles, nerves, every part of the body be full of that idea. And just leave every other idea alone. This is the way to success. But not just personal success. Swami Vivekananda dedicated his life to service of humanity. He advocated selfless service to others, reflecting the importance of social responsibility. His teachings inspired today's youth to engage in community service and contribute to the betterment of society. His teachings continue to be relevant to the Indian youth by providing a guiding light for personal development, social responsibility, and a deeper understanding of life's purpose. His messages transcend time and remain an invaluable source of inspiration for the youth of India and also the world. So today, on his birthday and National Youth Day, let's unite and promise to arise, awake, and stop not till the goal is reached. Thank you. Thank you, Krisha. Uh, we request uh, Swami Satyadevananji to felicitate Krisha. We have with us on the dais Shri Udhay Madhav Rashindeji. Udhay Shindeji uh, has graduated from IIT Mumbai in Mechanical Engineering. He is an officer of Indian Audit and Account Services, that is CAG of India. He has a wide experience of doing financial performance and information technology audit of government of India, state government, and international organizations like United Nations. He is currently working as financial advisor to the Department of Atomic Energy and Bhaba Atomic Research Center, Mumbai. He is actively associated with Ramakrishna Martin Mission as a devotee and volunteer since 1997. Please, sir, please deliver your address. Om Namashri Yatira Jaya Vivekananda Suraye Satchit Sukha Swarupaya Swamine Tapaharine Most revered, most revered Swami Satyadevanananji Maharaj, I offer my Sashtang pranams to him. Revered uh, Adarniya Rakesh Puriji, Adarniya Abhay Bapadji, Revered Swami Dayadipananda, Deva Katyananda, Divveshananda Maharaj, Jyoti Ratmananda Maharaj, I accept, please accept my humble pranams. Dear friends, brothers and sisters, Aapke rudhay mein jo atma or divinity hai, usko bhi mein pranam karta hoon. Now you know it is difficult to stand here and talk, okay? So if I tell you to come and uh, talk here, it is difficult because already you must have passed messages to each other. Because we are already 
finished one hour of the program and uh, we have already must have started using the instruments in our hands you know right now i think our fingers are the most active uh, organ we use actually every day you know in class also so i am very happy to be a part of all of you you all young healthy energetic active live youths but tell me one thing why do we celebrate this day why it's a why it's a day i feel uh, it's not a youth day every day is a youth day so it's not that we need to celebrate this youth separate youth day for that matter because in a country where we have a icons like swami vivekananda and who is there every day with us in fact uh, it is a wonderful presentation from uh, icsc school st john school and uh, i have i wanted one modification in that don't use was in the presentation okay it is is swami ji is swami ji was not was was don't say swami ji said say swami ji says because there is a difference between said was and says so swami ji is not a phenomena of the past okay swami ji is a present day phenomena is every moment we feel the presence of swami vivekananda because ultimately swami vivekananda was a personification of energy with which we live every moment now rakesh i uh, already uh, swami dayadipananda then uh, rakesh puri ji has spoken whatever points i have actually uh, prepared because you know government officers are fond of files and books and all so unless until they carry something they don't feel that actually they are attending some meetings or something so i also prepared something but oh sara bore liya inhone so i so i i thought ki now what to speak but i'll add one very important thing professor john j h right august 1893 swami vivekananda went to united states and um, it was actually if you you should definitely read uh, uh, it or i don't know in which movie it is depicted but please read that uh, the uh, literally the problems which swami ji faced and somehow he got hooked off this j h right who is a greek professor uh, professor of greek department in harvard university harvard you know all of you we know harvard no we keep uh, applying for foreign universities on the basis of recos you know recos no you know you, you know all recos and with recommendations and apply so this professor he said swami uh, that uh, rakesh ji also has mentioned to ask you swami for an your credentials is like asking the sun to state its right to shine but i feel i just want to modify this i want to modify that speaking on swami is like speaking on the sun is like a swami vivekananda is like a shining sun what we can speak on swami vivekananda i feel swami vivekananda is not there to speak about swami vivekananda is to to feel to experience to bring every moment of our life should be what swami vivekananda has taught us we should try to actually imbibe in our own life now there are many things which i can uh, actually elaborate you because actually when i appeared for upsc also during iits later on when we also work every day so many meetings but one thing is definitely sure that whatever we read we try to uh, uh, execute and swami ji is there at every moment is guiding you we have to just feel that his presence now what i feel is that all of us you know like we talk about you know like nowadays we use that because I, my daughter is there she use that slang called bro you know hi bro so i ask her what is this bro you know she said this bro is like a, so i but how can a girl call one girl bro no sir nahi hum aisa bol dete hai hi bro but tell me one thing this but i feel that our bro is swami vivekananda okay so try to 
understand that see actually we are all passing through you know like you know this is an area this is an age of competition you know so we have all have a fear anxiety competition depression emotional feelings and we have one you know, like i what i can say is that uh one that instrument which all of us have you know i did not tell you you know that is the source of i don't know what so that i'll talk on basically during my this thing but apart from that actually very important thing which we have is that we have a energy we have a dreams enthusiasm vigor we have that positivity you know hopefulness cheerfulness and all of us are actually what is happening is we are searching for a friend you know every day we talk about nay uh, it's ups and downs in friendship what i feel is that what are the characteristic of a true, true friend because i just going through usually we know all these but putting it on black and white you will have to do some literature survey so i have done that those with who support you who forgive you who take care of you who accept you or might be who want best what's best for you and i f- i feel that all these things is swami ji is for if you read swami ji swami ji says and i think you uh, as uh, as Ma- maharaj ji was mentioning you already read about swami ji but swami ji says never mind failures they are quite natural they are the beauty of life these failures what would life be without them and i'll tell you one thing that this happens like for example i also went for upsc interview just do marks se gaya to i have to prepare again ek bar fir ek mark se gaya i have to pre- so a failures will come failures is a part of life now then swami ji has already told us about the definition of education swami ji says education is not the stuffing of information to your head it is about concentration meditation education is what it's a manifestation of perfection so now i don't know what uh, f- uh, fields you are from somebody must be learning mathematics physics chemistry might be commerce so that mathematics when we say mathematics so you must be le- i don't know you are from 12th standard 12th 11th college first year last year engineering okay finance finance oh somebody is finance somebody is mathematics so like actually then when we talk about education when you talk about education swami ji says this physics mathematics finance whatever is already there inside me it's not there outside so then what is what is there which will help me manifest this knowledge swami says it's a concentration and it's a fact i'll tell you one thing now what what's what's happening why i'm not able to concentrate on something if the degree of concentration because the next question comes why somebody is abdul kalam and someone is actually sweeping roads both have the same atman both have the same perfection so swami ji says it goes ahead says degree of concentration the one who has a higher degree of concentration can manifest that particular perfection more so ultimately it goes and stops at shraddha what faith which you have in yourself so swami ji in fact this is a very famous quotes you have you know that earlier religion says faith in gods and the new religion swami ji says it's a faith in yourself so one of the most important thing which swami ji says is that it is the faith in yourself and already maharaj ji has told us about yama niyama self control in fact interestingly you know that he is he was talking about brahmacharya you know what is bachelor's degree the bachelor term is coming from that word actually so that way that concept of bachelor is coming from the brahmacharya ashram or brahmacharya and that is nothing but a self control now i'd like to just tell you one very important thing this concentration and i'll i'll, I'll really in fact 
as uh, 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 Rakesh Ji was mentioning, we also have visited uh, many countries outside, had trainings in London School of Economics or other, other universities. And what we find everywhere right now, humanity, we have all students, even if tomorrow if you go to foreign country for your MS or higher studies, you'll find this concentration is a big issue. And uh, when we, we, uh, we were in our appearing for JE, might be 12th, we didn't have this uh, something called mobile in our hand. Now what's happening, I'll tell you one thing and you should definitely read. We have a mobile, we keep surfing, okay? So we surf and nowadays new things have started, reels. You know, reels and then short videos. And I'll tell you one thing, it is very, very disastrous. Now if you look at it psychologically, it can cause, cause uh, OCD, it can, you read, go, you find out the long form of OCD, I'll not tell you. Then it, it will definitely call you, they, it will lead to ADHD. That also you'll have to go and search, okay? So but these are very dangerous and constantly there is a anxiety. You know there is a concept called FOMO. Ah, you know. So we have to be very, very careful. Okay, this is a feeling of missed out. And then if we have, because now, by the time we have finished, I know that many people must have shared the messages with each other. And this is what is, is a big problem right now in front of us. And I'll tell you one thing, if you want to be a big, we must be having a big dreams. But Swamiji says character, what is a character? Every small, event or every small thing in my life, when I do it perfectly, then only I can think of achieving a higher goals and end. You know that something called goal and means. You know that, na? Means to achieve goals. So what is a means ultimately? If, if I say that I have a big dreams too, and definitely all the parents, everyone in the society, for example, when we say I have got very good marks or I become a good national player, Somebody might be a big musician, participated in competition and got first prize. So all these are success events in the life. But when we can achieve these goals, so it is because of few things which I can tell you, you have to live in present. This means, if you work on means, end will automatically come. So first thing, time management. Second thing, living in the present, very important. Okay, third, one work at a time. Fourth, you have that commitment that we have, once you take certain task, do it to finish. In fact, I will tell you one thing, it's very interesting that nowadays, it is, uh, uh, people are, in fact, uh, there is a one uh, big problem right now is that we are not able to sit for three hours of examination because they start ex a ghante ke baadi the the uh, the starts uh, the the student become unstable. Are you? Then the interrogator will come ten times. No, sit up. For three hours, sit up. Why it's happening is because of our habits of using these mobiles. You know, like mobiles are actually playing. See, the invention of mobile. If you see, it is for communication purpose only. Later on, many things were added. But if we use mobile for our own education purpose, I think that will serve, a, uh, it, it will add to my success in future. And last is keep vigilance. So as Swamiji has already uh, given a lot many tips about Yama Niyama, like self-control, self-confidence, self-reliance, self-realization, which is the last thing which we, which we talk about uh, in this journey of uh, human beings. So I'll just would like to just finish off with this. Few things I'll definitely would like to add, which actually is that very important thing is that see Swamiji is with us all every moment. Some tips I can give you is that keep this book Thoughts of Power with you. Okay, anywhere inside you can keep it in your pocket or inside the table. And whenever you are bored, WhatsApp mat dekhiye, isko khol ke dekhiye. Okay, otherwise you keep on searching. 
You know that there's something called inst status and then messages and then, in fact, wo status abhi aisa hai ki, uh, people might even keep, before dying, they will say, ki, give my status as a dead letter on. So, utna status ka abhi craze hai. So, but don't waste your time in all that, okay? So, what is this that? This thoughts of power. One book which I feel, which I have been, I also read during my preparation is Agni Mantra. I think this is available in Hindi and also Marathi. Two books which I think students should definitely read is Secret of Concentration, which is available in the, and all these books are very subsidized rate actually, not very uh, high cost. And Letter to a Student, it's not available here, but it's available in the uh, book stall. So Agni Mantra, Thoughts of Power, and you, in, I'll tell you one thing, it's my experience. When you are disturbed, so bring, bring Swamiji into your daily routine. You fight with him, you talk with him, you quarrel with him. And the moment you take up his book, it's my experience that whatever problem you face, you get the answer in the book. Because Swamiji says that who will read, <coughs> because there is one book called Letters of Swami Vivekananda, and Swamiji says those who will read my books, letters or words, they will imbibe my spirit. So remember, Swami Vivekananda's birthday we say today and we celebrate it but National Youth Day is not a one day it is every day, every moment every hour we have to live with Swamiji's thoughts and definitely I'll tell you one thing, when you will add 10 years 20 years, 30 years into your, into your life, you will remember that after 30 years 40 years, when you read Swamiji now if you execute his ideas now uh, after 30 years, 40 years you will say that whatever you followed Swamiji, it has definitely shaped your life to a different uh, extent altogether or a different level altogether. So uh, I'll just s uh, finish with one very important uh, Swamiji's message. Swamiji says, say brother, the soil of India is my highest heaven. The good of India is my good. And repeat and pray day and night, O thou Lord of Gauri, O thou Mother of the Universe, vouchsafe manliness unto me, O thou Mother of Strength, take away my weakness. Thank you. Thank you, Maharaj, for giving me this opportunity to do some small seva for Ashram. Thank you. Now all the best. Thank you so much, Ode Shindeji, for sharing practical tips with the youths. Now we have with us uh, Shri Atharvajha. He's a student from LS Raheja College, Santa Cruz. He'll be delivering a speech now. Om Namah Shri Atirajaya Vivekananda Surya Satcha Sukha Swarupaya Swamine Ta Paharine Adanya Sanyasigan सम्मान्य अतिथि गण और सभी युवा भाइयों बहनों को मेरा सादर प्रणाम आज इस युवा दिन पर मैं आप हम सिर्फ यह जश्न मनाने के लिए नहीं बल्कि स्वामी विवेकानंद जी के जीवन और शब्दों से प्रेरित होकर अप, अपने भीतर एक जीवन की ज्वाला जलाने के लिए एकत्र हुए हैं स्वामी जी के बारे में बोलना अर्थात इस शक्तिशाली ब्रह्मांड पर बोलने के समान है उनके जीवन और शिक्षा को एकमात्र भाषण में समेत ना असंभव है हम उनका अध्ययन पूरे जीवन भर कर सकते हैं मैं उनके कुछ दिव्य गुणों का उल्लेख करना चाहूंगा जो हमें जीवन भर सहायता करेंगे पहला नेतृत्व व कौशल्य स्वामी जी के पास उनका उन स्वामी जी के पास जनता को एक सामान्य दृष्टिकोण अधिक शक्ति और उच्च चेतना की ओर ले जाने की अपार शक्ति है स्वामी जी का एक दृष्टिकोण था लोगों को उनकी दिव्य क्षमताओं और एक एहसास कराना और उन्हें खोया हुआ विश्वास जगाना था पूर्ण लोगों को अपनी क्षमताओं का पूर्ण उपयोग करना चाहिए अपने जीवन के दृष्टिकोण में दृढ़ विश्वास के साथ करने की आवश्यकता है दूसरा सहानुभूति यह गुण स्वामी जी के जीवन में बहुत स्पष्ट है उन्होंने भारत और विदेश में 
जहाँ भी वे गए जीवन में सभी लोगों के क्षेत्र से बातचीत की और सफल रिश्ते विकसित किए इसका श्रेय सहानुभूति को दिया जा सकता है क्योंकि वह स्थितियों और उनके दृष्टिकोणों को समझते थे और उनका सम्मान करते थे तीसरा साहस स्वामी जी अपने साहस के लिए जाने जाते थे वे लोगों को साहसी बनने के लिए प्रेरित करते थे हम जो एक पक्ष में आ, एक मिनट था जो सही के जो सही है उसके लिए खड़ा होना ही साहस है चौथा दृष्टि की स्पष्टता अक्सर ऐसा होता है कि छोटी छोटी जीते बड़े से बड़े नेता को विचलित कर देती है लोग बड़े दृष्टिकोण की दृष्टि खो देते हैं स्वामी जी जब आत्मा साक्षात्कार की यात्रा पर निकले थे तो उन्हें पता था कि उनको दृष्टिकोण क्या है क्या था लोगों को अस्थायी विकल्पनों से बचने के लिए अल्पकालिक और दीर्घकालिक लक्ष्यों के साथ साथ समस्त दृष्टिकोण का पूर्ण मूल्यांकन करना आवश्यक है पांचवा लक्ष्य के प्रति पूर्ण समर्पण स्वामी जी अपने लक्ष्य के प्रति बेहद केंद्रित थे उन्होंने इसे पहचान लिया था और इसे प्राप्त करने के लिए उन्होंने अपना धन संपदा का जीवन भी छोड़ दिया था उस उनका मानना था कि अत्यंत समर्पण के साथ कोई भी व्यक्ति वह सब कुछ हासिल कर सकता है जो वह चाहता है परिणाम उन्मुख और समाधान आधारित दृष्टिकोण अपनाने से वास्तव में हमारा जीवन बदल सकता है याद रखें दोस्तों जवानी उम्र नहीं होती यह एक आत्मा है एक ज्वाला है जो भीतर जलती रहती है जो जो आइए आइए इस लॉ को प्रज्वलित करें इसे हमारे मार्ग को रोशन करने दे और आइए हम न केवल आज बल्कि हर दिन अपने दिल की दहार के साथ स्वामी विवेकानंद जी के आह्वान का जवाब दे उठो जागो और तब तक मत रुको जब तक लक्ष्य प्राप्त न हो जाए मैं ऐसे महान व्यक्तित्व पर बोलने का सुनहरा मौका देने के लिए रामकृष्ण मिशन और मत मुंबई के प्रति अपना आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ और समय और ध्यान देने के लिए आप सभी को भी धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूँ थैंक यू धन्यवाद अथर्व रिक्वेस्ट करेंगे स्वामी जी से सत्यवान जी हमें बड़ी प्रसन्नता है कि हमारे साथ मंच पर मुख्य अतिथि के रूप में श्री अभय बापट जी हैं नाइनटीन एटी फाइव से नाइनटीन नाइन्टी के बीच में अभय बापट जी विद्यार्थी परिषद अखिल भारतीय कार्यालय में एक मंत्री के रूप में थे नाइनटीन नाइन्टी वन से नाइन्टी थ्री में विवेकानंद केंद्र कन्याकुमारी के लिए पूर्ण भावी कार्यकर्ता रहे वो और विवेकानंद भारत परिक्रमा में उन्होंने सम्मिलित करके पूरे भारत का प्रवास भी किया 1993 से 1998 तक वो विद्यार्थी परिषद केंद्र के कोषाध्यक्ष का दायित्व निभाया उन्होंने 98 से 2010 तक विवेकानंद के अलग अलग दायित्व निभाए दो से दो तक विवेकानंद जी के शर्द शर्द शति यानी कि वन फिफ्टी बर्थ एनिवर्सरी के समारोह के संबंधी के वो संयुक्त महासचिव का दायित्व निभाया और 2014 से लेकर के अब तक वो विवेकानंद केंद्र महाराष्ट्र प्रांत के प्रमुख का दायित्व निभाया उन्होंने आप खुद एक व्यवसायी हैं और एक अपनी पैकेजिंग इंडस्ट्री चलाते हैं अनुरोध करूँगा अभय बापट जी से कि वो आकर के अपना भाषण दी मंचस्थ परम पूजनीय स्वामी जी मेरे साहब ने गत डेढ़ साल से डेढ़ महीने घंटे से सुन रहे सब युवा कार्यकर्ता 
अब सब लोग अभी मुझे मालूम है कि आप सब व्हाट्सएप देख रहे हैं घर जाने की उत्सुकता है अभी इस समय मेरे पास में माइक आया है तो मैं आपको ज़्यादा बोर नहीं करूँगा हम सब जानते हैं कि आज हम एक युवा सन्यासी के बारे में चर्चा कर रहे हैं एक सन्यासी के बारे में कॉलेज युवकों के पास क्यों बात करना है हम सबने स्वामी जी का फोटो देखा है गेरुआ पहना है हम में से शायद किसी ने गेरु को देखा भी नहीं है मन से फिर भी हम लोगों को इतनी बार बताया जा रहा है कि स्वामी जी हमारे यूथ आइकॉन हैं क्या वजह है ये तो स्वामी जी ने हमें क्या क्या दिया है इसके बारे में थोड़ी सी संक्षिप्त में चर्चा करेंगे तो हमारे ध्यान में आएगा कि कितने व्यवस्थित रूप से स्वामी जी को यूथ आइकॉन करके चुना है मैं आपको यह कहूं कि स्वामी जी ने हमको पढ़ाई कैसी करनी है यह भी सिखाया है कई किस्से उनके जीवन के हमें मालूम है एक जगह वहां रुके थे एनसाइक्लोडिया ब्रिटानिका जिसको हम विश्वकोश कहते हैं उस विश्वकोश उस बगल में लाइब्रेरी थी तो लाइब्रेरियन से मंगाए गए उनके शिष्य ने तो पहला वॉल्यूम आया दूसरा वॉल्यूम आया तीसरा वॉल्यूम आया तो लाइब्रेरी ने पूछा कि क्या आप क्या ढूंढते क्या है साधारण रूप से विश्वकोश कोई पढ़ता नहीं है कुछ रेफरेंस बुक के लिए आता है तो उन्होंने कहा मुझे मालूम नहीं हमारे स्वामी जी पढ़ते हैं तो उसने मजाक में कहा ये पढ़ने विश्वकोश पढ़ने वाला आदमी मैंने देखा नहीं है तो कुछ ये बात स्वामी जी के ध्यान में आई स्वामी जी को मिलने को आए तो स्वामी जी ने बताया कि ठीक है आप मेरी परीक्षा ले लो अभी मुझे जिस विषय के बारे में मालूम नहीं मैं परीक्षा कैसे लूँगा तो ऐसा तय हुआ कि कोई भी पन्ना निकालेंगे पहला जो सेंटेंस है वो पढ़ेंगे फिर स्वामी जी उसके बाद उसमें क्या लिखा है बताएंगे शुरू हुई परीक्षा वो लाइब्रेरियन को लगा कई बार हम भी एक्सपीरियंस करते हैं कि जहाँ हम किताब धक बंद करते थे अगले बार खुलने से वही पन्ना खुल जाता है ऐसा हुआ होगा दो चार बार किया तो स्वामी जी तो पहले जैसे लाइन पढ़ते हैं स्वामी जी पूरे पेज पे क्या है बता रहे हैं और गेरुआ पहना है तो उसने कहा कि आपको कर्ण पिशा चाहूगत है क्या तो समझ बिल्कुल नहीं तो ये तो नाम घूम ही नहीं है मैं इतने 40 साल से ये सर्विस कर रहा हूँ मैंने देखा नहीं है कि एक बार पढ़ने के बाद फोटोग्राफिक मेमोरी कैसी होती है स्वामी जी हंसने लगे स्वामी जी ने हमको ये जब बताया है वो हम सबके लिए ध्यान में लाना चाहिए स्वामी जी ने बताया हम जब बचपन में होते हैं स्कूल में जाते हैं पहली कक्षा दूसरी कक्षा हम अक्षर पढ़ते हैं बाद में सेंटेंस पढ़ना शुरू करते हैं वहीं रुक जाते हैं लेकिन जिस कंसंट्रेशन की बात यहाँ बार बार हुई है उस कंसंट्रेशन से पूरा ब्रह्मचर्य पर पालन करने के बाद एक प्रज्ञा जागृत होती है जिससे हमें फोटोग्राफिक मेमोरी मिलती है अब ये पूरा कंसंट्रेशन क्या है ये हमारी समस्या है आप भी आप जहाँ बैठे हैं सब लोग मुझे लग रहा है कि आप मुझे सुन रहे हैं लेकिन मालूम नहीं कौन कहाँ कहाँ घूम रहा है किसके मन में शाम को कौन सा सीरियल है घर में क्या पकाया है आगे से क्या बात करनी है तो ये हमारी दिक्कत है जब हम कॉलेज में जाते हैं तो हमें घर की याद आती है खेलने के लिए जाते हैं तो हमें अपना जो जर्नल इनकम्प्लीट है उसकी याद आती है जहाँ जाते हैं वहाँ नहीं रहते हैं तो सिर्फ यह करेंगे ना जहाँ है वही करे हम खेलने के लिए गए 100% परसेंट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑन गेम पढ़ने के लिए बैठे 100% परसेंट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑन पढ़ाई तो देखो क्या आप एक बिल्कुल जैसे स्वामी जी बताते हैं वैसे हम हमारे जीवन को सुधार सकते हैं और ये सब क्यों करना है मैं बिल्कुल संक्षिप्त में जा रहा हूँ क्योंकि मैं मालूम है समय हो रहा है ये सब क्यों करना है तो स्वामी जी ने हमारे लिए एक सपना देखा है और डेढ़ सौ साल हो गए वो सपने को साकार होते हम देख रहे हैं 
स्वामी विवेकानंद जो एक सन्यासी था उस सन्यासी ने अपना गुट का परिवार नहीं था लेकिन भारत माता ही उनका परिवार था उनका आराध्य था स्वामी जी का एक कोटेशन है अगले पचास साल के लिए सभी देवी देवताओं को बंद करके रख दो और एक ही बात देवता का पूजन करो वो है भारत माता उस भारत माता का पूजन करने का हमें अधिकार है हमें करना चाहिए स्वामी जी परिवार का नहीं थे लेकिन जिस दिन शिकागो में उस दिन 11 सितंबर के बाद रात को 10 सितंबर को रात को स्वामी जी कहा रहे थे जो अननोन सन्यासी थे रेलवे के वैगन में सोना पड़ रहा था लेकिन 12-13 सितंबर के बाद फुल फेम होने के बाद उनकी व्यवस्था एक अच्छे घर में की गई उस घर के यजमान को रात को उनके बेडरूम से रोने की आवाज आने लगी उन्होंने पूछा क्या हुआ है कुछ मेडिकल हेल्प चाहिए क्या दरवाजा खटखट आया दरवाजा खोला तो देखा डनलो की गादी पड़ी है लेकिन स्वामी जी नीचे सतरन जी में सो रहे हैं रो रहे हैं क्या हुआ स्वामी जी क्या चाहिए स्वामी जी ने बताया मैं घूमने के लिए गया एक बगे में तो हाँ मैं भी था साथ में तो वहां देखा कि बच्चे अच्छे अच्छे खिलौने से खेल रहे हैं हाँ तो क्या हुआ उसमें क्या है मुझे याद आया मेरे देश में मेरे बच्चे छोटे बच्चे आधी रोटी के लिए कुत्ते का बच्चा और मनुष्य का बच्चा झगड़ता है तो ये मेरे देश में ये सौभाग्य कैसे मिलेगा देखिए स्वामी जी सन्यासी है लेकिन 24 घंटे उनके मन में एक ही बात है कि मेरा देश मेरे लोग ये कैसे बड़े हो जाएंगे स्वामी जी ने केवल भारत माता को यानी अपने भारतीयों को नहीं प्रभावित किया है स्वामी जी का बड़ा योगदान है विज्ञान में जब स्वामी जी वहां गए थे आप सबने पढ़ा होगा आप सबने पढ़ना चाहिए टेस्ला नाम हम सब जानते हैं तो निकोलस टेस्ला और स्वामी जी के बाद में बीच में जो संभाषण हुए हैं एक पूरे विद्यांग को एक नई दिशा देने का काम स्वामी विवेकानंद ने किया है टेस्ला को उन्होंने बताया था कि एनर्जी एंड मैटर इंटर कन्वर्टेबल है ये मैं वैदिक रूप से जानता हूं मैं मैथमेटिशियन हूं आप उस पर काम कीजिए और टेस्ला ने काम भी शुरू किया था लेकिन उससे सक्सेस नहीं मिला 1905 में आइंस्टाइन ने इस पर काम किया और इज इक्वल टू एम सी स्क्वेयर जिसने पूरी परिभाषा बदल दी विज्ञान की उसका मूल प्रेरणा स्रोत स्वामी विवेकानंद है और आइंस्टाइन लिखता है वन सन्यासी फ्रॉम इंडिया केम नेम एज अ कानंदा अभी यह स्वामी विवेकानंद के व्यक्तित्व के इतने पहलू है स्वामी विवेकानंद हमने क्यों सुनना चाहिए क्योंकि आजकल छोटी सी बात से युवाओं में डिप्रेशन आ जाता है इतना कॉमन वर्ड हो गया है फ्रस्ट्रेशन और डिप्रेशन लेकिन आप देखिए कि जब स्वामी विवेकानंद यहां से गए थे चार हजार किलोमीटर दूर जहां वहीं उनकी कोई पहचान नहीं है वहां की स्थिति मालूम नहीं है वहां की ठंड कितनी है मालूम नहीं है वहाँ पे जो प्रोग्राम के लिए गए थे वो प्रोग्राम पोस्टपोन हुआ है रहने के लिए कुछ नहीं है कुछ इतना हालत खराब है ठंड इतनी है और वहाँ भीख मांगने की परवानगी नहीं है परमिशन नहीं है स्वामी जी अवला सिंह पेरूमल को लिखते हैं कि मैं शायद यहीं मर जाऊँगा फिर भी उसी खत में अगला इसमें लिखते हैं फिर भी हमें अपने देश के लिए काम करना है इस देश को एक बड़ा करके देखना है स्वामी जी कहते हैं मैं भविष्य नहीं देखता हूँ मुझे इसकी जरूरत नहीं है लेकिन मेरे आंखों के सामने एक स्पष्ट चित्र है कि अगली शती में ये मेरी भारत माता पुनश्च एक बार जगतगुरु के सिंहासन पर बैठ के विश्व में आध्यात्मिकता का राज्य करने वाली है और इसके आसार हम देख रहे हैं मैं कई बार कॉलेज में जाकर ऐसे बताता हूं तो बच्चे बाद में कहते हैं वो तो होने वाला है तो हम क्या करें हो तो होने वाला है लेकिन मैं आपको छोटी सी कहानी बताता हूं कुछ साल पहले एक टीवी पर मैं फुटबॉल की मैच देख रहा था कलकत्ता की मैच थी फुटबॉल तो दोनों जगह मालूम है मोहन बगान वर्सेस ईस्ट बंगाल की खेल चल रहा था और कई दिनों के बाद ईस्ट बंगाल की टीम जीत गई और फुटबॉल जीतने के बाद वो सब टीम पे लोग टीम के जो मेंबर हैं वो बहुत हर्षोल्लास रहे थे मचा मजा कर रहे थे लेकिन उसमें से एक प्लेयर था वो जीतने के बाद भी मायूस था वो जो 
कैमेरा मन था उसके ध्यान में आया उसने उसे बाजू में लिया आपकी टीम जीत गई आपको हर्ष नहीं हुआ मैं बहुत आनंदी हूँ दिखता तो नहीं है बोले मैं भी था पूरा समय मैदान पे था लेकिन एक बार भी मेरा पैर फुटबॉल को लगाए नहीं तो इस जीत में मेरा कंट्रीब्यूशन क्या आज से पचास साल बाद जब भारत सुपर पावर बनेगा तो आपके बच्चे या आपके पूछेंगे कि भारत तो सुपर पावर बना आपका कंट्रीब्यूशन क्या तो ये कंट्रीब्यूशन देने के लिए आज का दिन है आज का दिन है यह संकल्प करने के लिए स्वामी जी को याद करना ये संकल्प लेना है कि मैं मेरे जीवन का कुछ समय जो स्वामी जी ने रास्ता बताया है और इतना सिंपल रास्ता बताया है इस सोल इज ए पोटेंशियली डिवाइन हर में वही ईश्वर तत्व विद्यमान है तो उनको उनकी सेवा करना है ये भी एक कहानी है जब ठाकुर जी ने बताया था कि दया करने वाले कौन हो तुम तुम तो सेवा करने वाले हो उस समय स्वामी जी कहते थे कि आज मुझे अद्वैत सिद्धांत का बहुत ब्रह्म वाक्य समझ में आया हम दया नहीं करते हैं हमार को हमें सेवा पाने के लिए हमारा समय सेवा लेने के लिए ईश्वर उस रूप में आया है इसके लिए दरिद्र नारायण सेवा ये स्वामी जी ने कॉइन किया वर्ड है तो हम अपने रोजमर्रा की जिंदगी में से जैसे मैंने बताया वैसे कुछ समय निकाल के और कुछ समय आप आराम से निकाल सकते हैं जैसे स्वामी जी ने बताया है वैसे पढ़ाई करेंगे तो जिस पढ़ाई के लिए आपको चार घंटे लगते हैं वो पढ़ाई दो घंटे में हो जाएगी फिर वो बचे हुए दो घंटे व्हाट्सएप नहीं देखना है फिल्म नहीं देखनी है वो दो घंटे कहीं पे भी यहाँ अस्पताल है इस अस्पताल में जाके सेवा कीजिए अपने मुंबई में कितने जुग्गी झोपड़े हैं आप पढ़ा पढ़े हुए हैं स्वामी जी भयंकर कोटेशन दिखते हैं वो बोलते हैं कि जो एजुकेटेड क्लास है वो एजुकेशन होने के पश्चात समाज के प्रति नहीं देखता है उसको स्वामी जी ट्रेटर कहते हैं अभी ट्रेटर का आधार था आपको मालूम है तो हमें कुछ काम ऐसा करना है जीव सेवा यानी ईश्वर सेवा वही स्वामी जी की सेवा है <laughs> हम ज़्यादा लंबा जाने की जरूरत नहीं है <coughs> हम मुंबई जैसे महानगरी में रहते हैं लेकिन अपने ही मठ का यहाँ से सौ किलोमीटर दूर सकवार करके एक जगह है उस सकवार में जो रूरल डेवलपमेंट का काम चलते वहाँ से थोड़ा आगे जाएंगे तो ध्यान में आएगा कि वहाँ शिक्षा पहुँची नहीं है इस मुंबई में भी यहाँ से थोड़े वस्ती में जाएंगे तो बच्चे छोटे बच्चे उनको पढ़ाने के लिए कोई नहीं है हम सब पढ़े हैं उनको पढ़ा सकते हैं उनका मैथ्स पढ़ा सकते हैं इंग्लिश पढ़ा सकते हैं साइंस पढ़ा सकते हैं तो इससे जो आनंद मिलेगा ना वो स्वामी जी के जीवन का दूसरा अर्थ है स्वामी जी हमें ये बताते हैं सफलता के साथ सार्थकता कैसे होनी चाहिए हम सफल तो सब हो जाएंगे अच्छी पढ़ाई करेंगे अच्छी नौकरी मिलेंगे हम सफल हो जाएंगे क्या हम सार्थक हैं क्या हमारा जीवन सार्थक है तो इस सफलता से सार्थक थे क्या कैसा जीना जीना चाहिए इस स्वामी जी हमें बताते हैं इसके लिए आज का दिन है संकल्प का दिन है आज का दिन है सेलिब्रेशन का नहीं है ये संकल्प का दिन है और संकल्प किसके साथ लेना है हमें हमसे लेना है आपको कोई पूछेगा नहीं आपने क्या संकल्प लिया लेकिन आपको अगर चाहते आप चाहते हैं कि मेरा जीवन भी कुछ ऐसा बन जाए क्योंकि स्वामी जी कहते हैं जो अपने लिए जीता है वो मरा हुआ इंसान है दूसरे के लिए जीता है वही सच इंसान है तो हम सच इंसान बनने के लिए इस भारत माता को उस स्थान में जाने के लिए मदद करने वाले सब बन जाएंगे तो स्वामी जी जिसका जिसका जिक्र बार बार हुआ है वो कहानी बता के मैं छोड़ता हूँ भगनी निविता और स्वामी विवेकानंद का वो संवाद है स्वामी जी कहते हैं कि बहुत जल्दी मैं इस देव छोड़ने वाला हूँ 
तो भगिनी कहती है लेकिन आप तो कहते हैं कि इस भारत का कुत्ता जब तक भूखा रहेगा तब तक तो मुझे मोक्ष नहीं चाहिए तो आप देह छोड़ने की बात कर रहे हैं स्वामी जी हंसते हैं स्वामी जी कहते हैं मैं देह छोड़ने की बात कर रहा हूं मैं काम कहा बंद कर रहा हूं मैं तो अधिक विस्तृत रूप से करोड़ों लोगों के हृदयों में बैठ के उनको काम के लिए बाध्य करूंगा उनसे काम करवा के लूंगा और इस भारत माता को वही शांत पे पहुंचा दूंगा क्या हम हमारा हृदय इतना पवित्र रख सकते हैं कि यहां स्वामी जी आके बैठे और स्वामी जी हमसे काम करके ले मुझे लगता है यह संकल्प हम लेंगे कि स्वामी जी हमारे हृदय में आके बैठे और हमसे काम करवा के लेंगे और भारत माता का जो स्वामी जी का सपना है हम साकार करेंगे मुझे लगता है यह संकल्प के साथ हम आज का सेलिब्रेशन नहीं है ये संकल्प है ये करेंगे और इसके साथ हम घर जाएंगे स्वामी जी को याद करके रहेंगे जैसे किसी ने बताया कि जहाँ पे स्वामी विवेकानंद का एक फोटो भी आपके स्टडी रूम में रखो अपने आप में परिवर्तन महसूस हो जाएगा स्वामी विवेकानंद का एक कोटेशन ले लो उस पर चिंतन करो देखो कितना परिवर्तन हो जाएगा तो ऐसे अखंड प्रेरणा स्रोत शाश्वत प्रेरणा स्रोत स्वामी विवेकानंद हमारे साथ है और स्वामी जी ये भी एहसास दिलाते हैं कि हम सब विवेकानंद हो सकते हैं तो हम सब विवेकानंद होने का संकल्प करके हम यहां से जाएंगे धन्यवाद तो बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद श्री अभय भाभट जी नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट स्वामी ज्योतिरत्मनंदन महाराज जी टू ऑफर क्लोजिंग सॉन्ग
Thank you, Maharaj Ji. Now I request revered Swami Devakyanta and the Maharaj Ji to propose vote of thanks. Uh, one information for all of you, after the vote of thanks, when you leave the auditorium, please collect food packets. Prasad packet is there. So as you move out, you will collect that. <laughs> Om Sahana Vavatu Sahano bhunakto, saha viryam karavavahi, tejasvi navadhi tamastu, mavid vishavahi. Om shanti 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 hi, hari hi om. My respectful namaskar to Shriman Swami Satyadevananji Maharaj, other monks, in the auditorium uh, and other dignitaries present here, professor, teachers, my dear sisters and brothers. So I know that uh, you have become uh, impatient and it is quite natural, you are not used to. But uh, I will take some time, a little bit of your time before you have your food packets and uh, one thing I wanted to share with you, you know, you have seen that Batman movies? <laughs> Which was the first one? Which was the first one? The Dark Knight. Came in 2008. India, okay. Okay, all right. All right. Who was the legendary character there? Yes, yes, Joker. What was the actor's name? Heath Ledger. You know something remarkable about that film? Uh -huh. it, is, uh, it was the first Superman movies which received Oscar. Not only that, it was the first movie where a protagonist received the lead character, award meant for the lead character, Heath Ledger, the Joker. And uh, I watched that movie, and of course, he's very famous for that role. And some of his quotations, you might have seen its memes everywhere. You know that one thing, really something to ponder over. He says, whatever doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. You remember that? Think over it. These lectures didn't kill you, OK? <laughs> so it is going to make you stronger, right? So it is uh, no, no for certain, it is always, this is the only recipe, this is the only process, this is the only formula by which we further the horizon of our abilities. 
This is the only formula. You grail, you work hard, you sweat, you spill your blood for it, and that's how you gain more power. You want to be more powerful? You want to be more strong? This is the one thing you must bear. You must bear. So in concentration also, where you have been locked up, that is one thing. You have to gather your faculties to put your attention. You are not used to, I understand, you are not used to philosophical talks or philosophical ideas. But yes, you must be at least come be exposed to it. Then you must muster the courage. Then you must try to internalize it, assimilate. And that's how you grow. That is the one thing. That is the one formula. You, that's why we take this trouble that to you bring across these ideas. Do you understand that? And with this, the National Youth Day, having your attention, my dear sisters and brothers, with all my love, so I convey my vote of thanks to most revered Srimad Swami Satyadevananji Maharaj. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I'm glad that you are with me. Thank you. You are very kind. Thank you. And because without his blessings, he is the head of this Mumbai center. OK, <laughs> not to clap. That. <laughs> so you want me to miss a, get it over and leave. So, that, so, that, <laughs> so I will have to, because this is formality. This is sanskar, sabhyata hai, our manners hai. Koi bhi vakta, koi bhi vakti hum bulate hai, wo apna samay nikal ke aate hai. So like our, uh, Dr. Shinde, he is a very busy man. He is uh, handling a very important post. I had to call him, I had to convince him, he came. He said, Swamiji, this is not my job. Still, I made him do the. So he did it for you. He did it for us. I convey my heartfelt thanks <laughs> to Mr. Shinde. Then uh, our another eminent guest, Shri Rakesh Puriji. So I have something to tell about every, uh, this. All three people, I know them very personally. Like Dr. Shinde, this person, he is going to mutt. Since he was in Miss as early as his age, four or five years of age, since he is going to mutt, playing there, eating there, and having scoldings and sometimes slaps also from Swamis. He has got everything. <laughs> and he is uh, all the time, I have always seen his gratefulness for that. So if you want that, you can also come. <laughs> <laughs> so Dr. Shinde, Dr. और हमारे राकेश पुरी जी, he is now the big person. I उनका पूरा प्रोफाइल मैंने आज ही पहली बार सुना। इतने जगह पे ये आदमी क्या-क्या करके आया है, ठीक है कि नहीं? है ना? So राकेश पुरी, he was you know there हमारे उनका जब आपके उम्र के थे ना 17-18 साल से वो चंडीगढ़ आश्रम में जा रहे थे। वहाँ पे एक स्वामी जी थे, वो इतने सख्त मिजाज थे कि इस आदमी ने काफी दिन तक उनकी सेवा करी सेवा करके प्रसन्न किया और पूरा अकाउंट्स वो आश्रम का करते रहते हैं। He has always again and again, again and again, he has expressed his gracefulness. He said that whatever I am, I am today because of the Ramakrishna mission. तो ये उनके आँखों में मैंने सब समय देखा है। जब भी वो ये बात करता हूँ, जब भी ये बात वो बोलते हैं, he is always choked, Sri Rakesh Puri ji. And <laughs> Sri Abhay Bapad ji, he is also a very long-term initiated duty. Here in the mat, because mat is a sannyasi, right? The adhyatmik jivan ke liye mantra dikshah hoti hai. Ye shabda sun lo mantra dikshah. Kabhi man mein vichar aaya to adna hi dar. Thik hai ki nahi? Mantra dikshit bhakta hai. Bada uttar dahi to hai. Itna simple rahte hai. Ye inki patni. Hai na? To Maharashtra pranta ke, Mumbai pranta ke, और बहुत अच्छे-अच्छे बड़े-बड़े क्या-क्या प्रोजेक्ट्स कर रहे हैं वो लोग इनका केंद्र आप विवेकानंद केंद्र का कार्य जानना चाहो तो आप जाओ नॉर्थ ईस्ट में इतनी कितनी इनकी संस्थाएं कितना एजुकेशन कितनी किस्म से मतलब सोच है उसमें जब ये कार्य करते हैं हर चीज प्लानिंग करते हैं सोलापुर में बड़ा एक रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट बनाया वो बताया मुझे उन्होंने तो इतना सब बड़ो इतना बहुत सारा कार्यभार करते हैं आज 12 जनवरी आज उनके लिए भी बड़ा मतलब दिन था मैंने बोला तो उन्होंने अपना प्रोग्राम कैंसिल करके हमारे इधर आए है ना तो बापट जी के लिए बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद। हमारे डॉक्टर स्वामी जी हैं, मेरे मित्र हैं और मेरे भाई हैं। हम दोनों लोग अभी 14 तारीख को बाहर जाने का प्लान कर रहे हैं, पर उसके भी सर पे काम है, मेरे भी सर पे काम है। लेकिन दोनों करके अभी आपके लिए, आपके साथ मतलब मुलाकात होगी नहीं फिर, है ना? तो आपको मिलने के लिए आ गए। 
और मेरे भाई और बहनों मैं अपने अंत स्थल से हृदय से आप सभी का बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ आप सभी लोगों ने आपकी मंशा यू आर शोर दैट इंटरेस्ट यू आर शोर दैट व्हील यू टूक आउट योर टाइम यू सेक्रीफाइस अदर इंटरेस्ट अदर एल्यूरमेंट्स दिस लाइफ प्रोवाइड सो मेनी विच यू हैव एंड यू केम यू चोज टू बी हियर विथ अस I convey my grateful thanks to Revered uh, Jyotirat Manandji who sang a beautiful bhajan for you. Swami Devesh Anandji in the opening his uh, sang a Sanskrit stotra for us. I convey my grateful thanks to Atharva Jha who spoke in Hindi. So one thing I have to say with Atharva because he had wrote his speech in English. I didn't get time in the morning. I told him that you try to speak in Hindi. and somehow that's why he was speaking something robotically because probably he used google translate <laughs> but uh, i convey the nonetheless my heartfelt thanks to atharva and miss krisha i am very impressed krisha where so you are oh she uh, she is from the college whose principal is again our duty so she delivered she was she is mentored well and she delivered very nice speech i am very glad to students of the uh, st john schools they did a very nice presentation to all other uh, my uh, colleagues my uh, uh, brothers here swayam sevaks and volunteers who have contributed and whom so ever i might have forgotten to mention i convey my heartfelt thanks once again my with my respectful namaskars to you all <laughs> with one announcements so that announcement being uh, is uh, sorry to say it is especially for the boys that uh, we at here ramkrishna math we have started a project we have uh, a, a facility you can say it's an interface where students can come we run a study circle so here so students of your age between 18 to 30 they can come sunday every sunday 10 am where uh, we discuss these ideas swami dayadipanand he takes their yoga meditation and uh, some uh, class uh, prarthana etc and we have some uh, discussion Uh, on the swami ji's ideas and how we can implement how we can think how we can understand what is this what is its relevance to us that is vivekananda study circle so all of you friend who so ever are interested and you think you are willing inclined please join and please come with my best wishes to you all god bless you all may god make you every one of you a great individual a great citizen of our country thank you very much देवकंतानंद जी सबको थैंक्स दिया मैं स्वामी देवकंतानंद जी थैंक्स देता हूँ ये आज आज जो फंक्शन हुआ ये फंक्शन से ऑल क्रेडिट गोस टू हिम ओनली जय श्री गुरु महाराज जी की जय जय महामाई की जय जय स्वामी जी महाराज जी की जय